Hello, this is a part of wireless attacks videos on securitytube.net. In this video, I'll be talking more about Mac spoofing and identity theft in wireless networks. How exactly this Mac address can be spoofed in wireless and what are the threats that Mac spoofing can expose in wireless networks. First of all, what is Mac address? MAC address is a media access control address or layer 2 identity of any network interface. It is supposed to be a universally unique address but in today's hardware it is possible to change the MAC address or it is possible to spoof the MAC address by someone else's MAC address and that's the whole point of discussion of this video MAC spoofing. Now how to know what is your MAC address if you are using Windows machine simply issue a command command ipconfig slash all all and you will be able to see the MAC addresses of all the devices that you have. If you are using a Linux or Unix based operating system simply issue a command ifconfig ifconfig and you will be able to see the MAC address of the interfaces. If you have multiple interfaces the MAC address of all the interfaces will be visible with ifconfig or ipconfig command in, win, in Linux and Windows respectively. Now how to change the MAC address is next logical question so if you are using a Linux machine simply issue a command ifconfig your interface name if it's if0 then it, it will be ifconfig h0 hw ether and then the MAC and then the colon separated MAC address. So for example the command can be if config eth0 hw ether 00112233445 colon separated. It will change the MAC address of your device to 00112233445. Remember before changing MAC address you will have to make interface down and after changing MAC address you will have to again make the interface up with if config h0 down and if config h0 up command. There is another tool Mac changer with this tool as well. You can compile it on compile it for your Linux version and with this Mac changer tool you will be also able to change the Mac address. If you are using a Windows machine there is a smac tool and other many many tools which which will enable you to change the Mac address of your Windows machines. Remember many times it is not even required or not even essential to, to change the MAC address of your device if you are going to in, uh, or if you are going to inject the packets with raw sockets. Uh, what, uh, what exactly raw sockets are? There are some wire, uh, there are some raw socket basic videos on securitytube.net. You can view those raw socket videos but just remember if you are using raw sockets there is many times not or it is not many times required to change the MAC address of the device. Only if you intend to receive the responses from the packets then you may have to change the MAC address even with raw sockets. Now what are the possible MAC spoofing attacks? The main important attack is the identity theft. So you will be able to read packets which are not intended for you. So since you have changed your MAC address you can easily read the others packet only the bottom line is those packets have to be clear text the encrypted packets the wireless encrypted packets at least will not be readable unless you have the shared secret you will be able to inject malicious packet to reveal some secrets you will be also able to bypass the IP MAC mapping tables or access control list, lists Many times in access points or in switches there are access control lists and only so and so MAC address will be allowed the access all other MAC addresses will not be allowed the, allowed the address or only so and so MAC with so and so IP is allowed the access and so on. Now all these ACLs or access control lists can be easily bypassed if you are spoofing your IP addresses and MAC addresses and if, if you are just little bit more crea creative you can find out even more vulnerable attacks with the MAC spoofing. Just think about it and experiment with it and you will be able to explore even many more, even more vulnerable attacks. With 
max spoofing many times the attacks are like replay the already seen packet so if you are using a cryptographically strong encryption algorithm then the replay protection will be a part of your algorithm and max spoofing with the replay attacks will not work so one of the possible prevention techniques is use cryptographically strong protocols like IEEE 802.11 IWPS CCMP protocol which is cryptographically strong so the replay protection will not be affected in even if the MAC addresses are spoofed you can also use higher layer authentication so that the simple bypassing of ACL will not help much with the sequence number analysis one can possibly find out the um, max spoofing for access point as well as client case but again this sequence number analysis can be easily bypassed because in wireless packet you can change the sequence number as well as the MAC address at your will so the sequence number analysis is not a very strong technique for detection or prevention you can possibly use IEEE 802.w supporting API so that the deauthentication and disassociation based DOS attacks can be prevented these are the few prevention techniques also you can go ahead and use some overlay security mechanisms to find out the max spoofing attacks and that's it for this video happy hacking and feel free to browse the securitytube.net for more wireless LAN attacks. Thank you.